what about the climate impact? Because the purpose of these policies is to mitigate the so-called problem of climate change. Well, at the Heritage Foundation Center for Data Analysis, we also have the model for the assessment of greenhouse gas-induced climate change, another model used by the government. And we assume commonly accepted projections regarding greenhouse gas trajectories by the IPCC and varied climate sensitivity in ranges recommended by the IPCC. And we simulated a society eliminating CO2 emissions from the United States completely. Now, specifically, you know, I've modeled these questions at the state level. How about for your state of Pennsylvania? Well, the state of Pennsylvania would incur, suppose you were to eliminate CO2 emissions from the state entirely, pursuing similar policies at the state level, 0 0.0041 degrees Celsius temperature mitigation by 2050, and 0.0083 degrees Celsius temperature mitigation by 2100. What about sea level rise? Well, my old colleague Chip Knappenberger, who used to be at the Cato Institute, looked at this question and found that in the state of Pennsylvania, by 2050, if you eliminated CO2 emissions completely, you would have 0.0273 centimeters sea level rise reduction by 2050 and 0.0820 centimeters sea level rise reduction by the end of the century. The issue is when you make this fundamental building block of society more expensive, there are going to be consequences. What are the economic costs and what are the climate benefits? And you should quantify both. And I'm going to say one other thing, since I still have a little bit of time left. Regarding temperatures, a lot of people have a habit to discuss CO2 implications in terms of greenhouse gas reduction. It is fundamentally important to go a step further and look at the impact on the climate, as I have done here.